Good morning and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Mary. And I'm Aaron, and we are here to provide you with the news for today, Wednesday, December 2nd. Today is a reward for Scoops for Success for AB Honor Roll students. Bring your ticket you receive from the homeroom teacher to get your scoop of ice cream at lunch. Enjoy. Today is recycling day. Mrs. Roberts' students will be picking up recyclable materials during first period. They will not knock on your door requesting the bin, so please place your blue bins outside the classroom door at this time. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me one Santa hat. On the second day of Christmas, my favorite teacher gave to me two pairs of pajama pants. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three winter nights. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four Christmas shirts. On the fifth day of Christmas, my BFF gave to me Five Christmas character days. On the sixth day of Christmas, my classmate gave to me six Apollo days. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven decade days. On the eighth day of Christmas, Jordan gave to me a Christmas sock and tie. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me nine candy stripes. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me ten red rings. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven reindeers. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve Christmas sweaters. And an eagle in a pear tree. Apollo, show your Christmas spirit for our spirit week. Anyone interested in any aspect of filmmaking should attend the first meeting of the Filmmakers Club Monday, December 7th, immediately after school in room 408. Congratulations to the girls JV and varsity basketball teams for defeating Hopkins County Central. The varsity team was led by Lexi Payne with 24 points and Jada Hall with 20 points and 17 rebounds. And tonight, the JV team plays Owensboro Catholic at 5.30 here at Apollo. Come out and show your support for the E-Gals. Good morning. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been uh, an on-campus organization for well over 50 years. Um, it's all across the United States and all across the world. It's been at Apollo since uh, Apollo opened, and uh, we meet here in the auditorium at 740 on Thursday mornings. And um, everyone is welcome. You don't have to be a believer. You don't have to be an athlete. We have a good time. There's uh, a lot of students that lead and do some great things. You don't always know what path God puts you on. And you don't know what things God may be preparing over here in the peripheral of your life. But hopefully it all works out. And when, when God gives you those great big signs, take them and make the best of them. So. Well, as a student at Apollo quite a few years ago, I really enjoyed FCA. Um, just 
so I could form relationships with other Christians and um, just be encouraged by faculty that um, really cared about me on a deeper level. And now as a teacher, I love attending FCA. The source of all my hope and it's the reason why I stand. Eh, 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 eh. I pledge allegiance to be somebody real. There's no more holding it back. I'm showing them how I feel. Cause love is more than a word. It's a noun and a word. And how it is a word. Thursday at 740. Thursday at 740. All right, <laughs> Ms. Young and I are here to announce the uh, winners for November Student of the Month as well as some um, scholarships. Now, we had 77 students who were nominated this month for the title, which means students, teachers recognize what you're doing, so keep it up. However, we can only have eight winners. So, starting with our phenomenal freshmen, we've got Wes Knott and Caroline Shutt and sophomores Presley Peters and Paige Ferguson. Congratulations. And for the juniors, we have Jerome Rowe, Stetson Walker, and Kenzie Toms. Oh, she's right there. But for the seniors, the real big drum roll, whatever that is, okay. We have, we have Matt Wedding. And then we have oh. Caitlin Head. So Caitlin Head, Matt Wedding, this is great, but we have other great news. And again, they're going to go to a lunch, is that correct? Yes, see Mrs. Ferguson, uh, <laughs> preferably today, if not sometime tomorrow. See Ms. Ferguson in the front office to order your lunch. Please, please, please go see Mrs. Ferguson. And Kenzie, if there are any leftover cookies, please bring them my way. <laughs> but we have other great, exciting news for you all. Seniors, I'm so proud. 2016, I know I'm on you all the time about owning it. Well, these people are owning it. I cannot believe the money that is coming into these seniors because of what they're doing with scholarships. And I'll remind seniors, you know, there were five new scholarships put on our website yesterday. So at this time, Kama Henderson, she received an academic scholarship. $11,500 a year to Campbellsville University, which totals $46,000. Try to pick that up real quick. And she did it because of her academics. And then we have Max Young. Max is not here to hear this, but I want to give him a shout out. He received from Transylvania University a Crimson Award, which is in the amount of $7,000 a year. It's $28,000. So between these two people, we almost have $70,000 worth of monies offered to them. Then we have Corey Nall. Corey received from Embry Riddle a Dean's Scholarship in the amount of $6,600. Why don't you read some of those that you received? Yes. Casey Walker uh, from NKU, a Commonwealth of Excellent Scholarship, total of $8,000. Congratulations. Uh, Catherine Etherton, University Scholarship from Murray State, 20 cent. 20% tuition. Uh, congratulations to you. And then Brianna McManus has three scholarships, uh, telling 80% of her tuition to Murray State University. So congratulations to you as well. It's a lot of love, a lot of money, but we're not finished. We are not finished yet. Christina Canary, where are you? Because she just signed with Kentucky Wesleyan. She received an academic scholarship of volleyball. She received an amount of about six thousand six hundred nine dollars a year in free money that she will get, not only including her keys monies, for an amount of twenty six thousand. Emily Singleton from Kentucky Wesleyan received an academic scholarship at the value of five thousand five hundred dollars. And again, we have a few more that will be announced. Casey Crow received a scholarship. It was an academic distinction scholarship for about $2,500 a year at ISU and it will be for $10,000. And our last one that we're going to announce today is Ashton Ross. Ashton received money from Spalding University. She received a merit scholarship for the honors program in the amount of $3,500 a year. But what's great is this is renewable for four years. Figure that up. How many hours would it take for you to clear this money to make this much on scholarships? $2,000 we applaud you and congratulate you. Hats off to you. You're supposed to do Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Attention all fall sport athletes. Don't forget tonight is fall sports awards night at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. We're finally getting rid of those clouds today. Sunny skies, 43 degrees out there, sunny and cool, and we're going to remain on a dry pattern as we head over the next seven days. And the temperatures will range anywhere from 48 degrees down to 43 degrees for daytime highs. Overnight lows anywhere from 37 to 31 precipitation wise we are rain free and snow free over the next seven days now we are watching a pattern change possibly the 15th of december 
but we'll have to continue to keep an eye on that. If you remember this time last year, we've already seen snow, but so far this year, nothing in the way of wintry precipitation. Then we do have a few clouds trying to make a run at the area as we head Sunday through Tuesday. I believe those will just be a few high, thin clouds. Other than that, we should remain with sunny skies throughout the remainder of the next seven days. And remember how you can stay social with us on all of our social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and of course on our website, FirstTrackWeather.com. Enjoy your Wednesday, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. On the First Track Forecast Center, I'm Chief Meteorologist Dalt Atkins. There will be a brief Thespian Society meeting in Ms. Barry's room Friday morning at 745. All members are required to attend. Please see Ms. Barry if you have any questions. Remember students, if you are taking the December ACT test, you must upload your picture to ACT for your admission ticket no later than this Friday, December 4th. If you don't have your photo on your ticket, you will not be admitted into the ACT exam room on December 12th. Attention AYL members, there will be a meeting this Thursday morning at 740 in room 402. Please make plans to attend. The Key Club has begun collecting goods and food for the Dan Daniel Patino shelter. If you would like to donate, please stop by the Key Club booth outside the guidance office before school. Students participating in this drive can earn a donut party for their homeroom as well as earn individual prizes for themselves. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Mr. Kobzinski in room 212. Senior interested in taking the work keys test next Tuesday, December the 8th, needs to stop by and see Ms. Crampy, Ms. Young, or Mr. Cameron as soon as possible. All boys soccer players wishing to train during the winter months, please come to a meeting held in room 760 at 745 on Thursday morning. On today's lunch menu for the Mama's Kitchen line, we'll be having meatloaf or tuna casserole, meatballs, mashed potatoes, peas, carrots, roll, fruit choice, and ice cream. And the Global Fair line, lasagna, roll up, or pizza, Caesar salad, corn, breadstick, fruit choice, and ice cream. In the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, chicken, peanut butter and jelly, turkey club, fries, veggies and dip, <clears throat> fruit choice, and ice cream. In the sub and salad line, potato bar or chef salad, broccoli, fruit choice, and ice cream. We'd like to wish all students good luck in their co-curricular activities. And don't forget that as, as a part of the 12 days of Christmas, tomorrow is ugly Christmas sweater day. We hope to see everyone participating and showing their Christmas and school spirit. Have a great day. Good morning, faculty, staff, and students. Uh, to piggyback off the 12 days of Christmas, tomorrow we'll start some Christmas trivia. And uh, the first class that calls in with the correct answer will win a prize for the class yet to be determined. I'm not sure what that prize will be, but we'll get you something. So I uh, actually had a student suggest that we do that, and uh, I thought it was a great idea. So I've already got my trivia uh, printed out and answers because I don't know the answers to many of them, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, we'll do that starting tomorrow, and it'll just be the first to call in to uh, Miss Wood or to the front desk with the correct answer. Uh, then that class will win a prize for that day, and then we'll keep repeating that uh, until this t uh, half of the school year is over. Okay, wanted to uh, remind our ACT juniors that are preparing for the upcoming uh, ACT test if you were, if, for English only, let me get this, spit this out here, hopefully clearly. English only, today, you will go to Mr. Phelan. I think you were with Mr. Phelan yesterday. You're going to go back to Mr. Phelan. So this is for the English only students. Um, ACT prep, Mr. Phelan. Everyone else, you'll do whatever you were scheduled to do today. But Mr. Phelan, you'll go back. Okay. Birthdays today, Christian Jones, happy birthday. Noah Lanham and Blake Wheeler, happy birthday. So we wish those students a great day. And then we do have staff birthday, Miss Carvonen, happy birthday to her. And I think that is all. And let's have a great day. Make it a great day. Make good decisions. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.